Hey guys, so today Apple had a big day releasing a ton of software updates for the iPhone, the iPad, the Mac, the Apple Watch, the Apple TV, and even the HomePods. Apple today released iOS 16.2 for the iPhone, iPadOS 16.2 for the iPad, macOS 13.1 for the Mac, watchOS 9.2, of course, for the Apple Watch, tvOS 16.2 for the Apple TV, and HomePodOS 16.2 for the HomePod. However, that is not what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. If you want to watch that coverage links will be in the description for ios 16.2 and everything that's new will be available in the description down below however what i wanted to talk about today was another update that apple released for devices that do not support ios 16 so if you have an iphone or an ipad that do not support ios 16 apple also released ios 15.7.2 and ipad os 15.7.2 and in today's video i wanted to talk about why it is very very important that you update your devices that do not support ios 16 to the latest ios 15.7.2 so let's just dive right into this video now as always if you would like to stay up to date with the latest ios news and apple software updates of course don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now iOS 15.7.2 as I mentioned was released today and the software update is close to 5 gigs is always going to depend on your device and the software that you're updating from but keep in mind this will not be removing 5 gigs from your iPhone this is simply overwriting the entire operating system therefore you'll still have approximately the same storage available the software of course is available in settings in general and then you want to go into software updates and it should populate for you again devices that do not support iOS 16 now have this new software update 15.7.2 same thing applies for the ipad now for those of you that do have ios 16 compatible devices and have not yet updated to ios 16 you can also install this software on your devices for the latest security patches which would prompt me to make this video ios 15.7.2 and ipad os 15.7 Point two fixes over 12 issues with iOS in regards to security. Right here is one. So all these CVEs are going to be issues and vulnerabilities within the software that could put your device and data at risk. Apple has patched over 12, I believe 17 in total. So one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, the list just goes on and on as you can see right here. So if you have an iPhone or an iPad that does not support iOS 16, all of these CVEs are going to be security patches for your iPhones and iPads. And again, as also mentioned, if you have an iOS 16 compatible device, but you haven't updated to iOS 16, you can also install 15.7.2 in order to stay secure so that your data, of course, stays protected. Now, iOS 15.7.2 does not bring any new features and changes to iPhone, but bring something that, in my opinion, is more important. And of course, I wanted to share that information with you guys, as always. And now, thank you for watching, guys. This has been a super quick video. iOS 15.7.2 is now available for devices that do not support iOS 16. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.